Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Andro again today for the first time in over six months. Kind of crazy it's already been that long with a new sort of setup for him or a variant of one I've kind of shown before. It is pretty straightforward and I've barely played with it, so it's going to be more of a first impressions than anything else. It's a variant of what I would say is a standard Andro at the moment with F distance, F speed, and reset. Really quite glad that Watchful is now a meta card for Andro because they moved some stuff around. I was one of the early people I'm pretty sure to pick it up and show it off and stuff. It works really well. If it's Andro very, very well, I'm glad that it's now meta. So for the variant, it's very similar. We've still got the F distance, still got the speed, but level two instead of four. Then the reset's the same. The ammo gen on the F is the same, although this one is more of a personal taste thing. I find it kind of weird to play Andro without it. Some people like to throw other stuff in there. And then we have quick draw level five for a heal of 75 every time we hit somebody with the revolver. This is the exact same thing as Tiberius's card that was a heal on hit everybody used it was really really popular then they nerfed it and now it's picked up a lot less I do wonder if this will eventually become a meta card we'll have to wait and see but I recommend even if this doesn't turn out that good you go ahead and give this a go for yourself and like I said I purposely barely played with it although I have been playing a bit of Andrew recently just to fine tune the setups a little bit and to kind of get used to him he plays very similar to Sati obviously although I'd say I prefer Sati to Andro which feels kind of weird to say out loud but he meant to play Andro pretty close he doesn't have any sort of mid-range damage it deals like two or three hundred whereas with Sati I feel like you hit really really hard at mid-range obviously uh, the trade-off of like movement and certain other things so after playing Sati as much as I have going to Andro feels kind of weird and the weapon feels a little bit underwhelming but for game one we got onto the primal court pretty good situation for this because you're training off movement for sustain so this is maybe an ideal situation for it we'll see what also be a little bit better if you're up against like a team with multiple tanks and healers and stuff so for the team we've got a zan we've got a dambu we've got a willer and he's in i don't know if this also triggers on shields or deployables it might do i'm not expecting it to if it does it probably would get nerfed in that way before they like touch the numbers with it hopefully but for this so they've got a bk a barrack a zin a kness and an io not that i think that this is necessarily going to get nerfed by the way i don't even know if it's all that good but it should be at least fine there's no way that this is like a terrible trash card because the healing on it isn't too bad if you're going for curse revolver technically it's a bit worse because you're firing a little bit slower but you're also a little bit more accurate range so it probably ends up being about even don't really like the fight fist all that much god slayer here would be fine but i think just for the sake of the video we're going to stick to curse revolver for this one which is probably andrew's most popular talent and if you are going to go for the other one you're probably better off going for like a full reversal setup we'll go for quarter eyes and nimble it's been a while honestly since i played andrew regularly so my accuracy Probably not going to be the best ever. Really could do a play in Paladins more often, to be honest, lately. But we've got Persistent, Spirits Chosen, Scorn, Guillotine, then Lifelink, Steady Aim, 4 to 5 Royal Subjects, and whatever the Zing grabs. Io with Death Hands is definitely a new one. I'm assuming she's got a ton of reset on the shots, or else that's kind of weird. I don't really know where to place myself. She's actually playing very aggressively. We'll pull up the reversal. Just throw that back. I can't believe I just lost like a duel to an Io, but fair enough. Dash over a little bit, get some cheeky shots on her if we can. Actually, actually on point there for a little minute. I never practiced before video so literally just play like a game or two maybe sometimes before I hit the record button on the matches that we've got get some shots on the Zin punch didn't hit but he's not dead there's the reversal shouts as in for saving my ass there we'll dash over to the point backs down here somewhere seems like we actually don't get the heal on turrets and that means deployables it also won't trigger on a king or like mines or anything which is a bit of a shame but also makes sense Hello, Zin we meet again missed most of those but we did land the double shot there I was just not looking too good bomb king pushing up on the Azan, but he's fine. Do we dash in to go on BK? Yeah, sure. I really should get the dash shot thing down, but it's been so long since I've done that. There goes BK. Freaking big ups, Damber. Run over left side, hit or two on the Zin. He's actually gone. Oh my god, I actually landed all of those. My accuracy today is not that bad. I am using my favorite weapon for Andro, so maybe that plays a part because I feel like I have a little bit of an easier time when I pick the shatter weapon. I don't know the full name of it. Kines is there at the back, pull up the reversal. Didn't time that, but we did hit it with 250. Okay, we'll go ahead and just sit on the point a little bit. There goes the IO shot on point. Do we go for the ult here? Yeah, sure. Zin's not gone because he went into his billow, but. Did get rid of him. BK's dead too. I think the bag's just dead here any second. I don't know why he didn't just jump back into spawn. But there we go. Knessa and BK on left. There's the Q. I took damage from something kind of invisible. We reversaled him for 600. And we're going to run back. Shouts Tampa for the heal again. We're on a 10 streak. Apparently I haven't died yet. Weird. Feeling a little bit better overall today than usual. I feel like I've just got a bit more energy because I'm recording it a bit more 
of a better time than just 6 of freaking 4 a.m., which seems to be a thing I usually go for. Does my reversal counter BKO? I don't remember, but we found out the hard way. I'm dead. We'll grab some more quarter eyes. We'll finish it off. Actually, got like nearly the perfect amount of credits for that. Run on the Knesser. Go for the combo. Nearly work. Hello, BK. There's the reversal. I think I'm just dead, right? We can try and get away. Oh, it's literally one shot off. I probably could have made that work. Probably would have died to the Knesser anyway. Hello, Sin. Thank you for the free kill. Obviously, I say this at the end of all my videos. I'm just randomly remembering now, but if you've got any requests for stuff you want to see me cover, definitely let me know in the comments. I say it literally at the end of every single video, but not everybody watches till the end. Of course, the setup actually so far though is working surprisingly well. Definitely in large part because of the map. I think if we were on bomb where we had to move a little bit more and the speed and the extra distance on the F would have been more noticeable, we'd probably be better off with that one. But the hill is surprisingly nice, actually, especially if I'm landing my shots the way I am at the moment. Go ahead and finish off our nimble. I feel like this setup actually scales with how good you are with Andrew. I feel like if you're better with him, you're overall just going to do better with this. There's a reversal for 900, and I think you're probably not going to miss out on the speed as much as somebody who's maybe missing more shots because you're getting more of the heal. Are we dead here? I'm literally one second off the goddamn reversal. We're even now on the score. We had doubled theirs at one point, and they've massively caught up. We'll go for Haven. I probably need to focus the Knesset a little bit because she's just sat at the back for free. That's in ulting the Azan. Barely took any damage. Knesset really just doing Knesset things there at the back. We'll get a couple shots on her. I can't really do much to counter her when she's just going to camp like that. And that's a BK ult. Okay, I knew he ulted. I thought he dipped down. I'm dead. Azan there saying kill Knesset OMG. I've just responded with she sits at spawn because I can't really do anything about it. I was just here playing aggro IO. I guess she went for the ult. Tried to time the shot which is going to dip away because I'm not looking too good. Knesset's over there. Hello Zin. There's some shots on you. Oh my god. I actually hit into his counter and it didn't even give me the shot. We'll go for the ult up here. There's a hit or two on on the back yeah that's a mix between bomb king and back i'm leaving that in we're gonna dash over this way get some shots on him as many headshots as we can or as little i suppose because my accuracy is garbage there's the q reversal he's out we can definitely win this one we just need to actually play the objective is knesset still set over here no she's just dipping back and forth do i maybe spawn camp a bit to try and deal with it that was a juicy shot i don't know but there's a dismount for the back the sustain here is kind of nice but i'm a little bit worried i'm gonna die we're gonna hit him with the reversal dash into a wall and die bk there somehow picking up a triple he's not even really playing that well that was just very very lucky timing we got rid of him we'll dash all the way over so we can't get shot for free by the nessa guess we'll just go over here and try and annoy her three shots she's camping so goddamn hard i can't kill her in time because of my literal damage i have per second will dash over this way hello io there's a double shot and the reversal another hit but we don't have reset on the f with it i might be dead here thank you damper for the heal Yes, that means we're fine. Hello, BK there. Here's some shots for you. We're just going to run. We're just going to run. I'm on 100 health. What am I doing? That's BK going for the ult. Rips in. Shot delay there was kind of mental. Do we go over this way onto the Knesset? Do we just go for the ult here? Yeah, sure. That works. Okay. Don't know where the Knesset is. We're going to drop down onto the point. Get rid of the back turret. There's a Q. Absorb some stuff. Reverse, I think, just got completely ate by the Zim. We'll punch him. I'm dead to Knesset. That's the first time I've seen a pop out of spawn in like two minutes. Don't feel like I can do very much on Andrew to counter that Knesset, sadly. I reckon if I was on a different, you know, flanker with maybe some CC. Jesus Christ, those shots. There goes the Zim. We'd be doing a bit better. Really messing up my sentences today, but because we're on Andrew, I literally can't kill her fast enough before she just jumps back into spawn. Just sit on the point a little bit, get a couple of cheeky shots if we can. He's on nothing. Is he dead? Yeah, we go. Holy shit, I actually landed that one. Oh my god, thought I was going to die to the Knesset. We're fine. Down by there, dropping down the Q. Got a little tap on the IO. We're going to just rush the Knesset make sure she has to push back yep maybe pushing in just to kind of keep her away is worth doing i don't know get rid of the bk here if we can my god those shots were kind of gross that reversal missed we'll get some ammo with that and just miss all the shots again can we punch to kill here that didn't work he was out of range this is so janky there goes the io can i just fill it finish her yeah fill it her that's what i wanted to say hello canessa we meet again and i can't kill you in time there's the queue how am i not dead what is happening somehow i didn't die there i honestly can't tell you this video has been an absolute mess so far we're gonna drop go for for the ult just blast him a bit yeah sure okay just keep him away that works shots on the zin there's the q Knesset, did you fire into me you did still dead because Knesset is going to be doing Knesset things we'll go for life rip as well seems like we've actually won it though because we're going to win to time that's 375 to 350 ish we do deserve the win for sure i think we won that just from the objective should have probably been focusing the Knesset a bit more but overall that was actually a really good showcase for the setup i feel like the speed wouldn't have actually benefited us that much definitely would find it hard to recommend for every situation but i think every now and again and in some specific situations it will do better than the other setup and depending on how you play Anjo, it might also be a better choice for that reason but we went 14980k quite happy with that we actually had highest damage somehow uh, azan did a great job azin did solid although he did die a turn there willow did fine and 
but the Amber did a pretty good job. Probably going to keep this video a bit shorter than usual. The Assam one the other day was quite a bit longer than my usual sort of stuff. But let me know in the comments if you want to see me do longer videos or shorter videos. Longer videos usually mean that I miss a day or two more than I usually would, where it's shorter stuff. It's obviously a little bit easier to get out. But we've got TDM Trade District for game two. We've got a Chance of Strix, a Mave, and a Tiberius. And then for their side of the end, a Corvus, a Sky, a Vivian, and a Lex. Also, don't forget to use code Frostfangs if you get anything from the Epic Store. But really don't want to mention that too much, but might as well throw it in there. We'll grab Curse Revolver and then the setup for it. We'll go for Nimble Court to start, as usual. I feel like I grabbed that start on like 90% of characters, but we've got Luminary Street, Justice, Tigan's Fury, Crack Shot, then Discovery Opportunity, Prep Dark Gifts, and Eminence. I'm actually not going to run down aggressive bottom left because I usually do that. We're actually going to wait here for a sexy where people go. Seems like they're all just here. Get rid of the sky. That's first blood. I'm actually surprisingly accurate today. I don't really know why. I think it's just because I'm a little bit more attentive than usual. That sky literally just spawned. I got one shot on it. There she goes. Never mind. I hit the Corvus. Reversal missed. Hello. The Ant. You're here. Okay. Shot on the Corvus. Accuracy today is honestly on point. I feel like it's just this weapon because I played so much goddamn Sati that my Andro skills just kind of inherently are better because I play characters who require a bit more accuracy sometimes these days. Dash all the way over the top. We can still do that's a little bit more jank get some shots on the whoever the hell that was vivian there's a reversal for a k but i'm dead i was hoping the team would push up aggressively i guess it still kind of worked we'll go for some more court give the maver hand maybe be just stole their kill then she would have got the reset i don't know we'll do one more little dash over help the tiberius out but i missed didn't really work there's the q andro's drop off actually isn't that bad i think i over exaggerated a bit in the intro dash over hello sky i feel like i'm focusing you a little bit but you are the easiest person for me to kill that vivian is very low can we finish her off that is a leanne on me i feel like i've got freaking three there's an all of them are to the end. i'm pretty sure they actually are hello vivian there's some shots on you i don't know why i'm aiming for your feet when you don't have a shield up just kind of good practice i suppose genos with the ult will dash up do i ult here sure let's get rid of the leanne because she's definitely the biggest threat to us get rid of the legs then as well, there's the Q go from like landing every single shot possible to missing like half of them. I think it's just the Leanne stressing me out because she's got really, really thin model and it's really hard to consistently hit her because she's actually juking pretty well as well. She was missing a turn on me though as well, so it's kind of even. That's a grip from the Genos. Of course, I wasn't paying attention the one time she was actually stationary. There goes there goes the Corvus as well. Can't speak today. There goes the Sky. We'll go ahead and grab some Haven. Pretty safe choice. That's Kinesa throwing the mine or Vivian throwing the mine. Hello, Leanne. There's some shots for you. Oh my god, disgusting headshot there. There goes the Viv as well. We'll dash over right side. Grab some nimble as we're running in. Two shots there on the legs. Don't really understand that scale at all. I don't want to focus her too much because she definitely is the freest of the kills. But at the same time, though, I'm not just going to ignore her. Saying that I'm actually practically doing that with how much I just missed. We'll hit her with a reversal or we'll just miss as well. We'll reload. We'll try that again. Is she going to run around? Nope, Lex is though. I'm dead. Oh, fair bloody play. Actually shredding me there. That's Janos with the ult. Didn't hit anybody. I think the end's on the left side. No, Maeve's there. So I guess she's over on this. And I was very tempted to go for the ult, realized I probably would have died by the time that I got it off. Was definitely going for some sort of play, but it wouldn't have worked. We'll go ahead and pop the ult here. There goes the Lex. Sky is also here, kind of low somewhere. Don't know, Vivian's ulting. Hello, Corvus. I feel like you're pocketing the crap out of this, Leanne. There's a reversal. And one more dash. Am I dead here? Probably. Hello, Leanne. There's some shots. You're not moving for some reason. Don't know if she glitched or something there, but she was literally standing still. Shots on the Viv under the shield. She's literally just still firing at that doorway. Okay, get rid of the Corvus. That didn't work. There's a huge reversal, which didn't go out. I thought I was freaking absorbing a ton there. Apparently not. Drop down. Hello, Leanne. Really not doing a great job of hitting you today. That was a two pretty good headshots. Of course, the one time I say I'm not hitting Leanne much, I land two in a row. There's the Q reversal. Huge for the sky. Am I dead for it, though? Sadly, yes. Probably shouldn't have pushed up as much. We'll grab more Haven. Keep it going. We'll dash straight off the bat, which is a really bad habit. Put the Q reversal straight into the shield for 1,200. That would have been juicy. Generals with the double alt. Talk about juicy. I'm dead. I was playing so cheeky there with the peak we got a couple hits on her but god damn that rifle hits hard also the presence to be honest just at range ideal 250 she's hitting me for like nearly a thousand we'll just emote here behind the wall john's doing a great job with the heels to be honest we'll dash up no no we won't i'll just get caught put the q reversal that there for 900 we're 34 to 36 this is anybody's game we do have the ult which is why i was trying to dash up a minute ago we'll go for the play again we'll just blast the vivian sure i forget you can auto you know click that i didn't mean to hold that as much as i did put the reversal there again throw it back 600 on the corvus we'll clear the mine the mave's just going in here but she's dead we're gonna try and retreat i don't want to be another free death for the team seems like tiberius is going in with the ult but i'm on 100 health dead to the legs wouldn't have mattered anyway there is the defeat well played to them they deserve the win i think they were a better team corvus in the end definitely doing most of the work i probably should have focused the sky a bit more but overall still a pretty good game I feel like the setup also worked fine there but we would have benefited more from 
the speed than in the first one, but I still think that that was a solid choice and I don't think you can really go wrong with this most of the time. I reckon it will be better on the closer maps with more, you know, easy to hit targets like tanks and stuff. The end specifically that was causing me most of the trouble if she was on some other character that was easier to hit, we would have had an easier time. 18674 props to the end, props also to the Corvus. 01 and he has a single death thing that was me, he said I was applying pressure with Andrew, GG love the vid, shoutouts to next stab, like the name I think I played with him already once or twice. Today we did fine, 14954k, I'm fine with that. Uh, Generals there did a pretty damn good job, actually out damaged the Strix who was doing terribly, 15k is really really low, he only has 3 deaths but even then that's a pretty rough stat, Maeve didn't have the best time there, Evan Tiberius did okay but probably could have done a little bit better for this, like I said the end Corvus doing most of the work, Sky was kind of a free kill, Lex was doing fine and Vivian was also doing fine but yeah there we go that was a quick look at this new sort of andro setup i've been playing around with a little bit i do wonder if this card will eventually become a meta choice i don't necessarily think that it will but i'm interested to hear you guys' thoughts on it for sure because i haven't really heard anybody talking about this one i think it definitely could be something that becomes a staple a little bit of andro for a while yeah definitely would like to hear from you guys on this one like i just said i know for me at least it'll be here something that i will pick up every now and again and i don't really feel like i need the movement and instead want a bit of extra sustain it's not the biggest thing ever 75 a hit but definitely adds up over the course of a game and might save your ass a couple times so yeah thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed of course let me know what you want to see in the next i'll see you guys really really soon and as always stay frost stay